Hey everyone, Jonic the Hedgehog from Nintendo Life here, <laughs> and I'm joined by Zeon the Armadillo. Hey, it's me! I'm an armadillo now! And we also got Alex the Hippo! I was wondering, what the hell is he gonna call me? Um, I didn't know, I was I panicking myself. <laughs> I don't resent being called a hippo. Have you seen one of those guys bite through a watermelon? It pales in comparison to me biting through a watermelon. As much as anything, for me, it's a lot better value because it takes a long time. You do sound They're like you'd be a, a pretty cool, like, end-level boss, I would say, in, like, a street and like, beat him up. <laughs> well, possibly. I also don't like watermelon, just putting it out there. So you're, you're just defeating Watermelon. That's that's the point then, right? <laughs> yeah, Get yeah. It's, it's, not on, it's, it's not only my focus, but my weakness. <laughs> so what are we doing here today? Well, what we're doing is we're going to be ranking 100 different Sonic characters. And I wanted to be a bit selective with this. So these are just game characters. These do not belong to any anime, movies, or comics. Because if they did, we'd be spanning into a very wide multiverse of Sonic. You're telling us um, no Sally, John? No, no you, Sally, I'm afraid, Zeon. All right, Sally's like live. the only non-game character I know. I probably know. <laughs> oh, no, uh, don't... Isn't there, like, Kintoba is Robotnik originally? That does sound I'm not, I'm familiar, familiar, but I don't know. It's yeah, like yeah, I'm not sure. Ovi... Yeah, Ovi Kintoba, and then he, like... <laughs> there was, like, a, an accident with a rotten egg, and he turned into Robotnik. Oh, I, I know this, yeah. I wasn't like, Sonic, it, like, a regular brown hedgehog to begin with, and somehow <laughs> that turned into blue? Like <laughs> Is this was this referenced in that Brian David Gilbert uh, video, the Polygon one, where he talks just all about it's like Sonic Unraveled or whatever? It may have been. Okay, <laughs> should, should, should we get into things? Sure. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. That's all my fault. There will be a That's few a character <laughs> duplicates if I believe that their characterization is different between different eras. But apart from that, we're mostly looking at uh, 100 different Sonic characters. So shall we begin with this dude right here? We shall. Oh, <laughs> this oh, is the black market salesman. I don't think he has a canon name, but what do we think of him? I love him. I think he's shady. He's a chow that can talk, which is complicated in and of itself. Um, admittedly, we do have other talking chow, which no doubt will maybe be featured. I don't know. I honestly think... Um, God, he's got to be an A. No, he, that's ridiculous. We'll call him a B. I, I was... <laughs> I feel like I feel like A is a very accurate position for this Chow to be in. I mean, look at it. You're, you're telling me this this Chow is not above and beyond any other Chow. I mean, besides, sure, there's there's Chaos Chow and all these other crazy things. But but look at it. This this Chow is clearly it's got its stuff together. I almost said a different word, but I would say A. <laughs> uh, but but John, you make a good point though, Zeon. Like not all Chow are equal, and there's a couple of Chow on this list. And also, what does he do with this currency? Like, what a chance! <laughs> what do they spend their money on? What does he uh, want? Sorry, Zion, I, uh, John. Rather, I must correct you. The plural of chow is chow. Oh, that's oh, my right. Bad that's right. Because if, if you say chows, that's the same um, spelling as chaos, and that's that's opening up a whole whole can of worms. That's true. Yeah, it's a graphonym. <laughs> so A or B? Where are we going? A. Oh, let's yeah. go A. Right. We've already spent too Yay. long with this. Yay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go pretty rapid fire with the rest of these. So what about Bark from Sonic the <laughs> Fighters? I don't even remember where we sat in the, the bears list. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But I think Bark is fine. I he's think a Bark's, recurring guest, yeah, isn't he? I, I'd say Bark is like a C. He's, Ciao for he's now. fine. Ciao right. for now. Ciao for now. Well that's good, 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 uh, good tier names, by the way, John. Oh yeah, these oh, are great. You. These are very good. Oh my god, Charmy. Put him in B. I hate Charmy to death. And, and, sorry, B for, B, B for banished. Oh, I was oh. like, that's, <laughs> okay. that's a very odd seat to sit on. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you think, Zeon? Is he banishable? Uh, I don't really like Charmy either. I wouldn't banish Charmy. I would I would say maybe like a C or a D, because Charmy's never done anything wrong to me. But I Casting don't know. Vote, John. Let's go, damn, not here. <laughs> damn. Oh, that's what that is, right? <laughs> What about the bio lizard? So this guy was the oh, ultimate life no. form until Gerald decided what if it were just a hedgehog instead of a giant <laughs> lizard. <laughs> so I really like the bio guy? lizard. Great boss fight. And yeah. weirdly quite a good design for something so basic as lizard with electrics. I'd say it's a B. I B for bio lizard. I I hate I we I hate the bio lizard. It oh. it felt it felt so much like 
you know when you're in many Final Fantasy games where you're you're playing and then you 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 now you're on the moon and there's this ultimate evil thing that's just suddenly now this is the final boss when you you thought it was going to be something else. That's how the Bio Lizard felt to me, and I just didn't. Yeah, but he's got the Space Colony arc rammed up his bum hole. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't mind it. Beef for, be for bum Yeah, beef for bum hole. <laughs> sure. Why not? My, my okay. thoughts have been spoken. <laughs> Moving on, though. Big. Big the cat. I like oh, big. And ironically, I like big. I love big. I love big, too. I think back in the day, I didn't. But now I've, like, come to appreciate him more and more, you know? So, yeah, I, I, think, I think up there is good with me. Why don't you guys pick him, though? How high up there, though? How high are oh, he's not S. He's not S because he, his levels are kind of boring in yeah, Sonic he, Adventure. He does have his sure. his faults, doesn't he? I'd say <laughs> B or A. B or A. I want to go A. I love that his levels being boring is a fault, which is the, the primary... That's the primary thing you do with Big, his levels. But the primary anyway, he's, thing. He's a. You're right. They are they are very chill. Like, and I mean, we we understand the speed that his brain moves at, right? But just based on his his dialogue alone. So it's, yeah. Froggy? it's fine. Yeah. And he's voiced by Jute Nukem. So. Oh my God. Is he really? That's, that's a good, that's a great. Okay, bit. put him in S. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's great. All right, Modern Tales. So classic tales is. Oh, in. Modern Tales. Yeah, oh. Modern Tales. See. I'm very mixed on modern Tales because I, I I love it when Tales is playable and he hasn't been playable in so long. See, mm. they I, made him an inventor. That, and I think pushing that, kind of that button spawned some Eggman robots. <laughs> I, I kind That's of, a voice line that nobody's <laughs> heard yet because it's in Sonic Colors Ultimate. Wow! Look at you. Yeah, he's just you in know. The future here. I do things. like I do like modern tales as well. I, I appreciate that they've they've taken the whole like mechanic side of him and ex extended it further. But I do feel sometimes it it does feel like it it hinders his character because they just always make him the mechanic, yeah. right? Like that's his personality now. Yeah, yeah. In, in yeah. like yeah. forces, they reverted him so far back where he cowers away, and it, it just doesn't feel like the same character. That's a bummer because I do really enjoy Sonic, like Sonic Adventure style modern tales. If if, if that's if, if that falls into that same category, but but yeah. I'm I'm fine with Chow for now. Okay, Birdie. <laughs> oh goodness. I quite like Birdie. <laughs> so for those who don't remember Birdie, Birdie is from Sonic Adventure, and I think he has like a Chaos Emerald um, in his locket or something like that, and the, and uh, Chaos really wants it. <laughs> and uh, also. Um... Birdie's partner is um, trapped inside E101. E102? Right. Oh. Yeah, E10. E101. E102 is Gamma. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, that's I, crazy. I, I like Birdie. I think he's a B. B for Birdie. B for Birdie. I'm cool with that, too. Okay. Black Doom from oh Shadow God, the Hedgehog. Oh, my God. For God's sake. <laughs> Black so, Doom is, is, is D in my book. He's a bit of a bad influence, isn't he? Makes Shadow do some really Absolutely. bad Absolutely. He's like, oh, I'm an evil alien. Oh, Shadow, oh, why don't you kill these humans? And Sonic has a mild <laughs> issue with it. He's not like yeah. saying, Shadow, stop killing humans. He's just like, uh, they're on our side. <laughs> That's more of a Sonic thing. But no, Black Doom's rubbish. Graphically speaking, too, it doesn't even like like contextually make sense in the like the, the Sonic world. It just it looks like a character from a different game. And I, yeah. I, I know. Sorry, you're... hang on a moment, Zeon. I, do you have an issue with Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> uh, I think. D don't you guys want to save that for another time? <laughs> yeah, we do. We've we got, we've got a video in mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I right, Blaze the Cat from Sonic Rush, and technically Sonic 06 as well. I like her I, a lot in Rush, though. I, I like agree. Blaze. Yeah, I, I, I don't really care for Blaze's design much, but I like because she has like fire powers, doesn't she? That's yeah. the whole Blaze. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. She's one of the most fun Sonic alternatives, I think. Like she has all of Sonic's like cat um, powers, but it just uh, con it conveys really well to her design. I feel. That's fair. I see you're hovering around A. I personally say B, but I'm happy to be overruled. I do yeah, think she's. I think thinks. she's better. I, I think A is okay because I think she's a lot better than some other Sonic characters that we've got in the past that will we will soon talk about. Okay. Sorry, I just, I just, the fact that we've got that as an ultimate life form so far, <laughs> Chow and Blaze the Cat. <laughs> Outrank well, the Bio more. Lizard, who's actually an ultimate life form. <laughs> yeah. You're Poor right. Guy. You're right. Well, who Should can have tried harder? Captain Whisker from Sonic Rush Adventure. 
This well, guy. I don't care about him. Get, get him out of here. Just, I, I would almost banish I that guy. I wouldn't it, banish him. It's just such a non thing. I'd put him in D. Okay. I think I agree with D as well. I mean, he's not the worst, but he's definitely not the best. I can't say I've ever so played this... Rush Adventure, so it's just it's just basically I'm looking at him and saying, what are you? <laughs> what about Chow as a species? Just the Chow that you raised. Oh my god, S. Is there a tier above S? There should yeah, be. I can't fight that. I, I, can't, I can't at all. I was just going to keep put my them mouth in front shut of say, big. Put them in front of want. Big. Okay, sorry, Big. You're going over here. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> yeah, that, that does... The, the stars are truly aligned now. Don't, now doesn't need chaos, a discussion. This is Chaos Zero, but I, um, I'm not counting any, any other Chaos forms, so we're just judging his base design. But we can also take into account that he can evolve. So what do you think of Chaos? <laughs> evolve. I evolve. really like Chaos. Um, I put him in A, easy, if not S. I, he's I one of the better Sonic villains. I absolutely yeah. agree. Yeah, he's he's top top tier Sonic villain, and I, it still bums me out that Sega absolutely wasted him in Sonic Forces. And so yeah, yeah. the rest of the game was brilliant. It's just a shame yeah, they it's didn't. Up until, it's up until they <laughs> cut the chaos fight. That's where I had enough. <laughs> um, how about Cheese the Chow, which cheese is, is Cream's adorable. Chow. That's right. Cheese is adorable. I put him in A. I mean, but Cheese is amazing. In Sonic Advance yeah. 2, Cream is okay, but she can throw cheese around, which just damages enemies and kills bosses immediately. So Cheese is overpowered, in a good way. Yeah, Cheese is the ultimate life form. <laughs> yeah, do you agree, Zion? I do. I actually, I love Cheese, so that that's what I named my... I'm playing Mother 3 right now, and that's what I named my, my favorite food, is is Cheese. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. good with me. Well, oh, Cheese right. gets a lot of the limelight, but Chocolate who appears in a very, very small pre-rendered cutscene in Sonic Heroes. So, Chocolat was Cream's incentive to stop Metal Sonic and Eggman in Sonic Heroes. Oh, no. And we see him for like a few seconds. So this is Chocolat. What do you think of him? I feel like Chocolat, in context of the games, is wasted. I'd put him in C for Chocolat. <laughs> Poor old Chocolat, Chow. Yeah, we should have seen them, like, join up. It'd be great to have them in their own game. What's going on, yeah. Sega? Sonic Yeah, team. cheese and Chocolat. Together at last, everyone loves those two flavors combined. Classic Amy Rose from Sonic CD. I, so I fall into I do you, I fall into this weird camp where she's she doesn't really like you never really get to play as her like she no. she's just kind of this damsel in distress but her design is so lovable and as, I don't know I what, what do you guys think? You do like get to play as her. Oh, you do. Yep, in Sonic R. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess that's She's the true. only character with a car. Like, not yeah, even, like, yeah. some sort of space vehicle. A car. Yeah, and it's the worst controlling thing in the game. She's and that's saying quite, something. She's quite lovable in Sonic Mania Adventures. I like her there. But um, she just, just doesn't really have a great portfolio of appearances. I'd say B. I'd say she's definitely, um, yeah, she's got some flaws, but I, I like Classic Amy. I like Classic Amy more than Modern Amy. I've just shown my hand, haven't I? Yeah, I think so. Zeon, do you, do you like her more than Modern Amy? I, I, her design is so close for me, uh, but, but I don't really, I, I like Modern Amy's gameplay, or like, just, just what Modern Amy stands for more. So I think I would, sure. I think B is fine. All right. We're going to go pretty rapid fire with these ones, because these are all the Gamma line. So we're starting with E101, <laughs> Beta. Uh, remind me which one Beta is. Is Beta the one you fight several times, or just once? Yeah. So Beta is basically like, he's the closest brother. You fight him at the start mm. of the game, and he's also the final boss for Gamma's campaign in Adventure. Oh, yeah, he's really tragic, isn't he? Yeah, it's pretty pretty emotional. Yeah, that storyline's rough. Uh, you know, not, not wishing to put any spoilers out, but he basically gets, like, gutted. Yeah. That's right. I, I would I'd, almost... I, I'd, yeah, go ahead. I'd, sorry, Zeon, go on. I was just going to say, probably somewhere like B. I, I feel like A is illegal with that, but... Uh, but <laughs> illegal? Know, like, it's just, how can we put him in A? But I, I feel like B is fine, but what, what, what do you guys think? I'd say well, B. Yeah, these aren't all equal, so um, let's, let's go with B for now. What about sure. Gamma, the guy you play as? I like Gamma. I like Gamma more than Amiga. I put him in Same. A. Amiga is a, a cheap alternative, and I never cared for him. He's he's the, he's the Poundland Gamma. He is. I'm good with that Agreed too. Yeah, I, I didn't really right. enjoy playing with him back in the day, but I think it was just because that I 
I wanted to play more as Sonic. <laughs> and now I okay. now I look back fondly. That's a, that's a know. fair argument. <laughs> so these these next two, which I believe are um, so we've got Gamma, Beta, Epsilon, and also uh, D Del Delta, Epsilon, and Zeta. Yes, I think Zeta is the yellow one and Epsilon is the blue one. Um, they're both really, really similar. The, the boss fights are basically you run around an arena and you shoot them and they die so quickly that I don't even know what their powers are. <laughs> so I, I don't care for either of these uh, blue or yellow ones. No, no. I, I, I D, honestly. They're just both filler. Yeah, yeah, they are filler. That does sound fair. I don't remember their... I mean, I remember that we fought them, but I don't remember anything about them either. Yeah. They're the blue and yellow toads! Oh god, they are! <laughs> and then we've got Zeta, who is oh, a bit right. more prominent than the others. He's that giant one, you have to circle around and shoot. He also does, dies pretty quickly, but it is at least a standout compared to Blue and Yellow. Yeah, I'd put him in I still DLC, make, to be honest. I think, I think D is still fine. I do agree that it's, it's nice that it's these, different, then? but... Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Hang on, Classic. we've got him in the same league as Charmy. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to re-insist that Charmy gets moved to Banished. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We can let's see what we've got a hundred <laughs> characters think to about, talk about here. Think about his voice, Charmy B. I'm a free B. Does he sound oh, like that in Heroes God. too? I I'm yeah. pretty sure. Oh man, that's that's you're he not. That's not looking... now, but he, he may come out at the end of this video. <laughs> all right, all right. right. Classic I'll make sure he Doctor. doesn't. Classic Doctor oh. Robotnik. Classic Dr. Robotnik. A, honestly. Yeah. I've, I've got I've got the music from Sonic 8 bit in my head when you fight when you fight him again. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Do you any any objections Zeon? Is he A or is he higher? Is he lower? I'm so torn cuz I it, I don't really like enjoy his design, but I think that's the point. You know, and and he does like he is just like the silly, crazy, you know, scientist, and he, and you know he does, um, he he fits the role very, very well. But I, I I just I've never really like had an affinity for him, so it's it's hard to be like, yeah, he's amazing when I don't like him, you know. Um, so I I, I don't know. What, what do you what do you, how do you feel, John? I like that he can run really fast, and I think that's. <laughs> he can. Oh yeah, <laughs> so he, he can. Runs Sonic. Didn't somebody work out that his acceleration is like faster than like a train or something? When, uh, as in, n not a train, because trains accelerate really slowly, but something very fast because yeah. he does like, he, he matches Sonic speed in like a few frames or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy with him staying in A, unless anyone objects. I do not. None, none for me either. That's okay. What about That's the president? The... I thought, I thought the that president. was Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy... He, his, his, his main roles are Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, he doesn't appear is, much in Adventure is it 2. It's different. Is, oh, no, 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 it's the same. Ignore me. Yeah, I'm I just remember him in, in, in yeah. the limo in Sonic Adventure 2, You break 2, into right? his limo and you say, like, Hey, Mr. President, we're going to the moon! And then you run off. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> so oh, God, he's, he's D, isn't he? Yeah. He's just a, hu he's a, he's just a human. He doesn't do anything. He's a, he's a terrible president. He That's is. a very good point. Yeah, he has like a, a photo of Shadow and Sonic on his desk, but he didn't do anything to help Sonic. So <laughs> Does what he is, really? He didn't deserve that picture. Doesn't have a picture of his family. No, just Sonic. <laughs> I love these hedgehogs. <laughs> but speaking of hedgehogs, we've got oh. three hedgehogs coming up. Oh. And uh, this is going to be tough because I think all of these have very different personalities. But classic Sonic. I love classic Sonic. Me too. There's yeah. some, he's so I, simple. I think he's, and... I think he's S. Especially if it were, if we were talking pre Mania, I'd probably say A. But like his depiction in Mania is just so perfect. Mm. Mania's opening is so good, and Mania Adventures really as well. Is. I think yeah. Sonic Forces and to an extent Generations. I think bringing him back in that context doesn't always work so well. But in in his core no. games, I love him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the the design is so lovable still too. Almost like um. Almost like, you know, uh, the original design of Pikachu. Like, you know, we, we, mm. we have this new version now and it's it's sleek and, and cooler, I guess, but but there, there's just something about that that first first version that yeah, I think S is is great. Yeah. Things I were fatter include, in the nineties. Uh, <laughs> I guess so. Were. Every everything was better and fatter. <laughs> 
Um, I didn't include any other Dreamcast iterations of characters apart from this one, just I think it's so prominent. But it, Dreamcast sure. Sonic is not modern Sonic. I love Dreamcast I, I, Sonic, I, I, I will say. I absolutely love him. Same yeah. as you, Zion. So I'd much say yes. I'm so glad to hear yeah. that, Alex. I mean, honestly, if it, it just, for m as much as anything, the opening to City Escape is just absolutely sublime. Like, yeah. it just, it, it completely and utterly perfectly expresses exactly who Sonic is. And it's the time that I think he's had the overall, that one moment, he's had the strongest personality of any of the modern iterations. Yeah, agreed. Did but any of you ever guy... try to, like, grind on, on railings with even just because Sonic did it? As a kid, I, I used I, to I imagine think on I car did, rides. Yes. Yeah. On car rides, I imagine that Sonic was grinding across the rails on the side of the road. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. But this guy debuted in Sonic Unleashed to present day. This is the current modern Sonic. What do we think of him? I don't like him as much. I don't. I don't think he's he's not a bad design, but I think he's almost yeah. he's lost some of the. I mean, look at these poses, right? I mean, just compare Dreamcast and modern. He just feels so much more static. Yeah, in the Dreamcast one, he's like dynamic. He's like running past and giving you the thumbs up without even breaking a sweat. In the more modern one, he's getting ready for a proctology exam. <laughs> I, I think this pose in particular is based on a Sonic CD pose. I can see that comment coming, but I think even comparing it to that, he just looks sterile. Yeah, I'd say B, honestly. I mean, he's not bad, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I'm really excited to see whatever, you know, I, I guess we kind of we kind of know what Sonic is going to look like in uh, the, the new Sonic game that's coming out, but but I hope they, they do something that's not too drastic, like with uh, Boom, <laughs> uh -huh. which I imagine we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that soon, too. <laughs> well, we voted on uh, Cheese the Chow. What about Cheese's owner, Cream the Rabbit? I can take or leave cream. I do. Yeah. I, I like her. I, I think it's maybe because like we originally got her. What, wait, did we get her originally with sprite art or was she in yeah. Heroes first? Advanced yeah. 2 was her debut okay. and she was, she was kind of like Tails in Country. Like she flies around. She's pretty fast, but she had cheese, which kind of elevated that. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I thought she was a pretty unique character for, for the game. I, I, I liked her more. I, I would probably put her in like a B, probably not A, but uh, but what, what do you guys think? Alex, I know, kind of hesitated a little. Yeah. For me, say, cream without oh, cheese is not anything amazing like mm. without without cheese she is a c for me i'd say yeah i think i'd agree to be honest it, yeah she's just kind of she's fine she's just kind of she, she doesn't feel like when they created her that she was fulfilling a new role except with cheese it's just kind of like oh it's a character who can fly like tails it just didn't yeah it just didn't sing to me me? It, it, it kind of feels my like voice I just, is breaking, guys. My voice is breaking. <clears throat> it feels kind of like I just took my child to like the doctor, or or even to like you know to to try to like get them signed up for this special course or something. And then you two were the the people organizing it and the ones who tested my child and were like, yeah, your your child's fine. You know they're uh, you know if if they're hanging out with Jimmy, you know they 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 perform a lot better. But uh, but you know just I don't know. It's <laughs> Maybe maybe bring him back with with Jimmy and, and we'll, we'll 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 try again. We'll try again. Uh huh. <laughs> well, these two. I'm gonna move this guy up here. Cause this is uh, Orbot and Cubot. This is Orbot, and they have been in the game since Unleashed, I believe. And they're basically like Eggman's comedy relief, but I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> that you, they're really not, are they? You have them where no. they belong. <laughs> I think. Should we banish them both? I well well I think Orbot. <laughs> That's is marginally game. better. I would say okay. the Orbot isn't quite banishable. Cubot is pointless. He's just, I'm a stupid character. I do stupid things. Whilst Orbot is, he has the, um, he believes he's more intelligent than he actually is, which can actually result in some relatively interesting situations. And I use that very loosely. He's um, the voice of reason, yeah. Yeah, but he's not a very good voice of reason, which is actually, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not like an outlandish, you know, concept, but... It, it works okay. i put him in D. Okay. I'm fine with that. But what about the Dark Chow? S! I want to hear Zeon's input first. I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of Dark Chow. I don't know why. I, maybe it's just the colors. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's never... Like, I, I love the cheeky attitude. But I don't know. It's, it's not... 
it's not uh, below C for me. It, it's a chow still. I feel like it, it has to go at, at least there or or above, but I, I don't know. I've just never had like an attachment like it seems like the rest of the internet has. What, is did, did you better than, than cheese and the black a market salesman? I don't I, know. I mean, th the thing is, is though, you can play as Dark Chow in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in the multiplayer mode. Yeah. And he's in true. this little walker. And during oh, the right. opening, like the character introduction animation, the standard Chow just kind of goes, whoa, you know, kind of mindless, cute, adorable, you know, typical. And then Dark Chow goes, nah, nah, as it, they, they've got more going on. They, they've got purpose. Standard Chow are kind of just these autonomous things. They're adorable, but they don't really think things through. Dark Chow, they've got a plan, you know? They've got okay. something to think about. I think we can compromise and say maybe A rather than S. Yeah, I'd say he's an ultimate life. <laughs> yeah, Alex Alex did did make quite the argument. Yeah. When, whenever Alex pulls out a voice clip, you know it's probably pretty compelling. Um, do you remember Dark Gaia from Sonic Unleashed? So Eggman blows up the planet, <laughs> no. and inside is this big monster thing. I'm glad you said it and not me, Zeon. Do you remember this character? <laughs> no. I never finished the game to get that far. You um, had to do the bloody werehog stages to see that thing. Yeah. No yeah. one saw it. <laughs> I, I, have, I have no affiliation D. to Dark Gaia. Yeah. All right. Easy. I don't think anyone's going to anyone's going to argue that, are they? <laughs> the only oh, thing I John. feel like they'd argue oh, John. is maybe now you've done it. Now you've yeah. done. It. What have I done? Um, classic Knuckles, though. Oh, baby. I'm so <laughs> Classic Knuckles is a gullible folk. He uh, he always falls. Well. Eggman told him, "Hey, Sonic, he wants to steal the Master Emerald." And well, I guess he fell for that again. And then he went. But... And then Alex, what did he say after that? He said, "Heavens to Betsy." <laughs> that, that's the, the he said. Phrase. He said, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no." Well, <laughs> Modern Knuckles is also in this list. So, do you value classic over modern? I think I do. There's not as much in it for me. I'd say that modern uh, classic Knuckles is an A. I think so too. I yeah, it's it's tough to try to decide between a and s but I, yeah i think a is a, a good a good spot i like him more okay. than modern i think all right well this was dr robotnik but this is eggman that's what they call him oh, uh, officially right. now that's um, what he is what? i feel like he is a really good villain and the current voice actor for him is just perfect for the role oh mike pollock i think his mike name pollock's, is yeah mike pollock's amazing as this guy and they, they can't replace him they've replaced the sonic cast numerous times now but pollock <laughs> he's not going anywhere <laughs> I, whilst I do think he's kind of he's kind of a bit weaker in some some of like the early like the Dreamcast games, oh. and some of the later some of the subsequent ones after that, recently has kind of come out of the woodwork, and I actually really like modern Robotnik. I'm still calling him Robotnik because I'm a stubborn <laughs> bummel. Um, well, oh. oh yeah, yeah. Where, where would, would you, you place him, Zion? Well, I think so. I I don't like a lot of his creations as much as some of the ones that I do in the in the earlier Sonic games. I think they just mm. some of them just mm. they just lack I don't know, they just don't seem as silly maybe. Like some of them maybe he takes himself too seriously sometimes. And uh but I do still like him a lot. I I don't think he's worse than uh you know, original Robotnik or Eggman though. So I I think I would still pop him in A. But what do you, what do you guys think? I, I'm I, an I A man. Yeah, I put them side by side. Uh, I don't know which one's better, but I think he has a great personality though. Yeah, yeah that, that, it, I, for fair. me, it, for me, it dipped a bit at one point, but it's come back. It's come back strong. And yeah. I, I don't. I think it. It doesn't help that his. You know, I mean, this is just only a small fraction of of his life in the, the modern games. But just playing as him in Sonic Adventure Two is just not really fun either. And I think that yeah, that kind of hurts Tails as well. But uh, but yeah. Yeah. But what are the Pio Pio doing on here? Well, these are mean <laughs> beans. Oh, the mean beans from the mean bean machine. I was uh, so excited to hear the explanation as to why the, these were here. <laughs> wait, they're technically living. They have eyes. And when you pop them, I guess they, they die. I wow. think they're fine. I like the concept of mean bean machine, but I put them in C. They're just kind of blobs at the end of the day. When they came back in Mania, though, oh, man, that, that got my, oh, my that was good. Right. pumping. That was super fantastic. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say, I want to say B. It's just the, the puzzle master in you. <laughs> well, if it, I think if John's overruled us. That'd be an S. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Uh, 
yeah, I, I won't argue it. If I, I can't, I can't, I can't turn John down in that regard. What, what do you think, Alex? Are we, are we gonna fight him on this? Nah, I'd leave it where it is. <laughs> All right. We've, we've got a lot of characters to do. I can't argue too long. Yeah. Let, let's try and get through this a bit faster. So let's say your brother or sister is watching you play Sonic, and they want to play. You can hand them a controller that's not plugged in, or you can hand them a controller <laughs> that is plugged in, and they can control Tails. I want the Classic second Tails. controller. I want I really, I really, really like Classic Tails. Mm. Also, his first appearance was in a Master System game, so yeah, I put him right. in <laughs> I didn't know that until you brought that up that time. Yeah, I bring it up yeah. whenever I can. Uh, I, as you should. Uh, I think S. Yeah. It's like a f first comic book appearance. It's like, oh, this character was actually in the the, the second to last panel of issue two thirty four. Um, he's there just. You could see a silhouette. That that's the that's the issue. You that's the valuable one. I would put yeah. Tails and S. By the way. Yeah, classic Tails rocks. I love that. Yeah, like in yeah, Sonic yeah, 2, yeah. He's, he's, In Sonic Two, he's kind of just like another controllable Sonic. But in Sonic Three, he can fly. Sonic can't fly. Yeah, take that, yeah. you fool. Yeah. And you can play the whole Amy game as him. Zeon, modern... you had some feelings about modern Amy earlier. You said that classic Amy is better. I, I, well, so I, I, I like classic Amy's design more. And I think it's maybe it's just for the color. But I like the, the, the fact that Amy actually has like a weapon now and she can, she can do oh, sure. things. You know, she's, she's a better person than she was in the classic era. And so I like, I'm glad that Sega didn't because she was just kind of like the damsel in distress in sonic cd at least and then i mean i'm glad she got her license like alex said in sonic r but but yeah i uh you know she's still <laughs> tagged around with sonic and an adventure at least and but I, I feel like she's at least b for for me i'd put her at least b but but what do you guys think i think the i think you're right in the regards that she definitely has more character than classic amy but i her design just, I, I've never really cared for her modern design. And also, I feel that she's really underutilized, like yeah. massively underutilized. She's, you know, she's got this hammer and everything, and she was playable in Sonic Adventure, and she was quite fun to play as. But then in Sonic Adventure 2, she just reverts right back to being damsel in distress. Mm, and right. she becomes irritating. Her voice is very irritating. It is, you're right. Yeah. It is pretty grating. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think this is a good place for her. But yeah. what about oh, Princess Elise from was. Sonic 06? I've only Banish seen her, her kissing she Sonic and that's... Sonic again. Yeah. <laughs> mm, wait, no, this one. Mm. No, oh. don't do it. No. No. Yeah, she's banished. Quit yeah, playing with your rubbish. 2D dolls, John. <laughs> um, Bean from Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> Bean? I love this guy. No. Uh I didn't... I've I'll never, seen, in, I've never seen Bean in this art style before. This is weird. I think this comes from the comics. Like, a lot of these characters yeah. have one-off appearances, and then the comics are like, yep, they're staying for life. Sure, yeah. I, uh, I'd I guess I'd 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 I don't have anything B. to say. Yeah, yeah, why, why don't you guys take the wheel on this? I think he's a good designer. I like how he pecks. Like, when he attacks, he sort of pecks in the air. Uh, that's a good move. Oh, he's just ripping off Kazooie. Gotcha. <laughs> I think he predates Kazooie. Oh, boy! Kazooie's that sounds Bean. right. Oh, wow. Oh, we're down the rabbit hole now. Uh, we're down the cream hole now. That's... No. Are we sticking him in B, then? Yeah. B for Bean. Metal Sonic, though. I Is this like the metal only Sonic... Metal Sonic? Oh, yeah, this yeah. is the only Metal Sonic. I think uh, they're, S, they're kind of all S, the same. S. S. I feel like Metal right. Sonic has lost his luster over the years. His shine, if you will. Mm -hmm. But I... Yeah, I, I do... He's just such a cool character. You're right. Yeah, they, I, I think mean, he they, kind of CD. They brought him back in a good way in Heroes, and then he's just not done anything really. I, I was going to argue that I felt his Heroes appearance was a bit crap. Um, oh, okay. It's like, oh, let's get super evolve him into a big metal thing. It's like, no. The whole point was he was matching Sonic. He was an equivalent. He was an antithesis, and that takes away from it. Um, but the I still love him. Good though. Uh, what? That's um, Darude Sands. That that is. That's. Uh, <laughs> Are we popping this guy in S then? Oh yeah, make sure you cut that out, by the way, so that way we don't get uh. uh yeah, it was too close DMCA. to the original sound bites. There. It, it was it was a damn good uh, rendition, wasn't it? It, it was. It really. I yeah. All right, modern knuckles. Eh. Do you have to have? Of... Uh, go ahead. I, he's, he's, he was always kind of a bit dim. He was gullible and stuff like that. But now he's just a meathead. He's just an idiot. And not even in an entertaining way. It's just like, huh, I'm going to be angry and we should do the thing. Like Sonic Forces is a classic example of 
you know, modern Knuckles being rubbish. He just has no personality, really. He's just so bloody vanilla. Yeah, I don't know who he is anymore. Um, do you I happen to have do. the Do you happen to have the knuckles on here that has all of the extra equipment from Sonic Adventure Two? You know, like the goggles and the breathing <laughs> device hell. and the, the I new. I don't. Um, okay. How many of those were useful though? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the thing that allowed you to dig. Yep. Which had like charged down in Adventure One. Oh, yeah, that's right. yeah. 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 Adventure One had some teething problems. Yeah. Are we thinking DLC then? I'm, I'm D, honestly, honestly. I'm okay with D. I wish I, I wish Sega was like watching this list so that way we you know, us putting him low enough would like require them to make him better. Because that's at yeah. the end of the day, I think that's what we want is just Knuckles just yeah. needs to he needs to get back to his, his ultimate life form status. I yeah. think all all games companies should watch our tier lists and that, take it as gospel. Yes. Uh, Egg Robo, it was a villain in Sonic 3, but he was playable in Sonic R, so he's a, a prominent character. Oh yeah, is he in Sonic was... Mania as well, actually? Or, or is there just like a, he a variation? Was, he was unfinished in Sonic R. Is that he didn't right? have Maybe any animations. He didn't really? have any like, animations. I, I still think he's prominent enough if they considered Egg Robo for the playable spot. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not saying he's good, I'd put him in D. Okay, Just, and, and Zion, the, um, the, the hard-boiled heavy is what you're thinking of, and they may make uh, an appearance later. Oh, okay, okay. I do, <gasps> looking at this guy... Oh, sorry, what the I, bloody hell is this character coming up next? Uh, this is a Razor Jin from Sonic and the Secret Rings. Oh, yeah. Can you, do you not remember the antagonist from Sonic and the Secret Rings? I don't even... I can't even spell Sonic and the Secret Rings. <laughs> <laughs> so, a Razor Jin, I can barely remember... The fight. I know Sonic goes into this weird, not super state, but very close to super state, and you kind of fight him, but he's very not unmemorable. Do you see him early on in the game? Because I do have a memory of this character, but... I think you do, yeah. He yeah, looks like a Bayonetta character. He does. <laughs> he does. You're, you're right, that's spot and on. not a good one. What are we doing to a Razor Jin then? Uh, uh, I, I would... think he needs to be a Razor Jinned. <laughs> <laughs> I think after that statement, I don't think we can put him any higher. <laughs> No. Well, we all played Sonic <laughs> Battle, right? Well, this is Ermal. Um, I did. Yeah, actually, actually, I have played Sonic oh, Battle. We've all played Sonic Battle, lot. yay! That's great. Okay. So Ermal is the robot you train up, and as you battle, it sort of learns moves from other opponents. I actually quite liked Ermal. Me too. Yeah, he's all right. Not out of this world. C for me. I was thinking C. There's, there's some emotional attachment in there. It doesn't get too big but yeah like it yeah. almost has a it, it kind of looks like chaos in a way like a metal form and maybe that was the goal but i uh i don't know yeah i, I dig it okay well i'm gonna skip the next guy for a second because this is kind of another form of elmo this is gmo what and um gmo was a big part of sonic advance 3 like you'd fight them in boss battles every now and then and it was like an, like an, i guess the next form of elmo wow i was thought this it was a, in i thought it was i thought it was google's primary email service Oh my gosh. Oh, Gmo. <laughs> um, I don't actually prefer this guy to Ermel though. I think there's no heart in Gmo. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same. It's the same. They've traced him. But yeah. I think there's some. There, you're, you're right. You're right. There's there's something like cute and somewhat charming about like something innocent about the the other one, and it just it's lost. <laughs> you can't remember his here. name. <laughs> was it was it Ermel? I didn't want to mispronounce yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah. I don't want to, and then, oh, yeah, you, how'd you not remember the robot's name from battle? Alex and John just said it. So, 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 Ermel and we've got Gmail. Is that because it's based on E and G, like, um, the alphabet? Oh, yeah, where's, where's the F? Fermel? You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I want to see Hermel next. But do we think they're equal or not quite? <laughs> not quite, no. I'd say he's D. I, yeah, oh, I think I you're agree. right. Yeah. It does Fang. look more like Supersonic, but... Oh, Fang, hey. Fang Fang's kind of cool. Fang, Fang the dynamite. Oh, no, it's being the dynamite. He's got a gun. He has a gun that you can shoot you with. Yeah. Like Bayonetta. <laughs> it's another Bayonetta character. <laughs> this is another character that's stuck around in the comics. They're like, we're not, we're not letting go of Fang. I would... I, 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 I like Fang. I think... I don't know too much about him, you know? I mean, I remember seeing, like, the... Uh, there's wanted posters in Mania with him on them too, aren't there? That's right. Yeah, there are. I think you can fight him as well. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think one of the the heavy magician might evolve. Uh, not evolve, might turn into. Evolve. That's right. 
<laughs> so what do we think then? I think B is cool. I, I I like him enough, but what do you guys think? I've got no real strong feelings, so you go for what you like, yeah. Okay. What about Gerald Robotnik, the lunatic? All you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me! <laughs> what is he in? I don't remember. Sonic Adventure so, 2. So do you remember that point in Sonic Adventure 2, Zion, where Sonic's in jail and Amy frees him? Okay. And that's the same cell that Gerald's in now, in this oh. recording. Why? That's why there's, there's like writing all over the ro the ro walls. Oh, from Gerald. okay, okay, okay. I do I do remember this now a little bit. The world building. Gosh, I well, I clearly it it was a struggle to try to remember him. So I don't I don't know. I what do you what do you think? I clearly have nothing to say about this man. <laughs> He's the C for me. It doesn't really. Oh, okay. Uh, you know. It's, yeah, you know, it's Robotnik's What's grandfather. <laughs> yeah, that's basically you know. It? Does, does it anybody looks like know him like old, like why he was like locked up and stuff? I really don't remember. Uh, I think he wanted to destroy the Earth or something with this. Oh, <laughs> is that his thing? Oh. thing? Yeah, it's all politics, isn't it? You know, yeah. he doesn't deserve it. Free right. Gerald. Also, what kind of a name is... Well, Gerald's a perfectly fine name. It just <laughs> it just feels odd in the context of Sonic. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, these days, Knuckles Chaosix is mostly known for bringing SBO and Vector to us. But they also brought us Heavy and Bomb, who aren't talked about very often. Is that and a vacuum? For good reason. <laughs> so, in, in this game, you had like a, a roulette which would choose your characters. And sometimes you get the good ones, and sometimes you get Heavy and Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and the, you, you, oh, I see they're holding rings. You play as them? Yeah, you play as them. They're playable characters. Oh, man. That's stick, a lot. stick them in D so we can double the layer and you can stop worrying about the edit. All right. <laughs> oh, poor heavy and bum. All right. On to the hard boiled heavies. And by the way, I'm doing all of this with no notes. So hopefully, I get their names right. <laughs> so oh, God. I can't yeah, correct the, you. I don't know their names. This is impressive <laughs> already. This is the heavy gunner. I'm pretty sure of that. And I don't love his boss fight. It's one of those ones that you you can't really control. It's it's auto speed. Yeah. It's an auto scroller fight. Oh this one yeah. Me. I, I I I was at a point where I was like, I'm not gonna beat this. This is the point in a Sonic game where I stopped playing. But I I, I continued and I did it. But but yeah, this was tough. I'd yeah, say my least favorite heavy. D. Yeah, I don't really rate him at all. Hmm. All right, and this one is the Heavy King. So this is like the leader of the heavies. Um, I, I don't think he's the best one, though. No, no, I don't. I do kind of enjoy him heavies, more. Yeah, but but it, yeah, it's 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 tough. I, I, I like that in comparison, you know, to those other um, those other robots that were like the red and yellow one that you were talking about earlier. I don't even remember what game those are from, but they, they just don't have any personality to their their character models they, those those robots you could have taken and, and put in any illumination movie and they would have fit right in but at least yeah. the heavy is like they have they have some some style and some substance so um i i won't talk more about the uh these these guys than that but but yeah i'd well, stick I the heavy we... king in c personally okay i think the next three actually do have a lot more going for them so the magician we're just talking about he kind All of right. transforms into other characters I really like the magician. I put him in A, honestly. Uh, yeah, he's probably. Uh, I don't know if he's the best, but he's definitely a contender. Yeah, so I, I think I, I, he's definitely. Yeah, he's, sure. he's got like the, the animations have got loads of character to them, and the fact that he takes on these other forms and he uses his hat, he's got lots of squash and stretch, classic animation techniques. I really like him. Really like yeah. him. Okay. Well, the heavy rider, uh, I don't think it's the best one. He he goes along, he rides on those. um those what, What's the name of them? The motorbugs? Mo motorbug, hmm. yeah. Yeah, so he rides on them, and he goes around with a spinning uh, ball and chain. I, I don't, I don't love. It's this a morning one. star, Zeon, uh, John. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's all right. I'll take I've the blow for that wrong it. Now. What do we think, though? I don't See? remember this one very much, but yeah, it's not the most it's memorable. Uh, Lava Reef, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so we're sticking with C for that. That sounds okay to me. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I like this one a lot. This is Heavy Shinobi, and he th he throws those horrible stars from Sonic 2's uh, Metropolis Zone that explode. Um, I, I think he oh, sure. <laughs> and he has like some Shinobi sound effects too, which is quite cool. Does he t like disappear or like teleport too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I I like him. I I put him on par with um, uh, the the magician for different reasons, entirely different reasons, but 
just a really good boss fight as well. I will say yeah. that I, I love too that all of these robots are like they're you know they're not they're they're there's so much emotion just in their poses and they're in their bodies and that's like it's just leaps and bounds above some of these these other characters that's like sega has created in, in recent years and it's yeah. like it's been a long time since i've looked at them but they're they're really good okay well we put hero chow we put, we put dark chow in a what about hero chow i love hero chow and i think that's, <laughs> i i am on i'm on the hero chow side i think that's why i felt a little different about dark chow as well i i don't know I think it's the wings and the, the colors are just perfect and and the, the eyes are like slightly kind of creepy and but but there but it still it still has it's still got good goals in mind. That's what I, I mean. Zeon was very against say. the dark chat. <laughs> and I think it's only fair to Zeon that we give him his wish of balance. You can't have dark without light. I don't really care for the light chat. <laughs> See look at look at Alex it. Alex disagrees. You can have dark without light. <laughs> You ever tried to have a bar of dark chocolate without a bar of white chocolate? It's perfectly feasible. <laughs> See, I'm a white chocolate kind of I, person. I do like the, the light chow. I, I don't think it's... I, I wouldn't say it's as good, but Xeon seems to have a, a big love for this one. I, I'm, I'm happy to concede, but I, I always felt also all of the, like, um, the special, like, flying and things like that, all of those special forms for the hero chow were way less interesting. Oh. Like, some okay. of them, like the running one, it just had some, like like three spikes coming out the top or something dull as dishwater well this next one's really interesting because honey the cat was in the data of sonic the fighters but wasn't finished but in the 316 <laughs> ps3 remaster they put her in as a secret character wow. so she's canon now you can play as her That's i have pretty cool. no idea who this character is I think it's I mean, a cool apart backstory. from what you've just said. Yeah, yeah. And I think her data, I think Honey the Cat was in there because Sonic the Fighters is built off Fighting Vipers, which is another Sega fighting game. And there's a character in there called Honey. So I think the leftover data was that character. But people clinged on to that name so much that they went ahead and made Honey the Cat. That's yeah. really cool. Well, that's the, pretty cool. Those two games seem to have qu quite a bit of crossover, don't they? I mean, even just the fact that, yeah. that they, they were built on... Did you say the same engine? Yeah, yeah. I'd say because of her story, like the design isn't anything remarkable. But I think it's cool that they brought her back. So maybe C. I think that's that's fine with me. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, we've got some boom characters in here. So I think this is, this is the first boom character, Boom Amy. Look at those eyes! Wow, wow, guys. Those come to bed eyes. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> So I actually watched a few episodes of Sonic Boom. Um, I, I quite enjoyed it. There's there's some good quality um, writing in some of them. The games, meh. But the characterization of these guys isn't that bad in Sonic Boom. Yeah, I actually, I really like the animation. Like, really like it. The, the actual, like, movements are a little bit, the animation itself is a bit cheap, but the stiff, writing and everything yeah. is good overall. Yeah. So I would, I, I would say B for Boom... Amy. So, we're going to have other Boom characters in here too, so do you think Amy's one of the better Boom characters? Overall, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I won't <laughs> argue with that. <laughs> I will right, say so that I, I, think, I, think oh, sorry, Amy, I think Boom Amy does kind of, like looking at it and everything that we've said so far about Amy in particular, I think Boom Amy does kind of take some of the, like, the negatives of she takes the positives of like the Sonic Adventure Amy, you know, and then gives her like a better personality. So I think yeah. that that even at least like puts her above. But but I, yeah, like you said, we have other characters to look at now. <laughs> yeah, that justifies it, I think. So there's a big fan base for Infinite out there for some reason. <laughs> really? I, I find he is such an unimposing villain. He does so little, and uh, he kind of tarnished Sonic Mania with his gem shenanigans because now Sonic Mania is tied to Sonic Forces. So, I don't love this guy. I, I don't even like him. I was really... So, I watched a playthrough of Sonic Forces. I, I played the demo way back in the day. The one-minute demo or whatever, two minutes, I don't know. But I, I like his design, and then it just felt like they did nothing cool with him, I guess. Like, yeah. I don't know. And Sega were like, there's a mysterious backstory behind him, and there's, there's basically nothing. He came from the gem. That's it. Woo. That's so yeah. lame. But Jet the Hawk! Oh, he's one of the Babylon rogues. And he goes, oh, yeah, extreme gear. And he's, he has the same voice actor as Sonic in that game. So they this sound is, really similar. This is the guy that taught Sonic and company how to hoverboard, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. If you will. <laughs> or, or aren't they rivals? And he looks really I, similar to Bean from Sonic the Fighters. And he really, really does, does doesn't he? Like I reckon they're yeah. brothers. I reckon they it's could be brothers. I Jet and species, Bean. But they could be. I feel like he's a lesser <laughs> version of Bean. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Sorry, are you saying are you saying they're different species because you know Jet is a hawk and Bean is a dynamite? Yeah. <laughs> I lost him. Oh no! Go? There he is. The oh, UI. Okay. I, yeah, I, I think he is lesser than Bean. Yeah, um, he, I've heard him in he's C. definitely more extreme, but yeah, C is probably his place. <laughs> he's the Poochie, the dog of the Sonic universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what about Boom Eggman? Quite, quite a dapper outfit, I'd say. Hmm. I bloody love Boom Eggman. Mm. I think it's, um, I think it's Mike Pollock at his best. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'd either put him in A, maybe even S. He is, he's the best part of the, um, you know, th the animation is good. He's the best part of it. He really is. is he on, will you talk us out of putting him here? I, I don't think I can. The only thing I will say is I feel like his de his design is a little simplistic, but I haven't really... I, I know that the show is good. Like, I've seen some clips here and there and loved what I've seen, but I haven't seen enough to, like, say myself that I would put him in a, you know, S or A or anything like that. But but I, I, if you believe it, you do what you believe. I will not I do stop think, that. I, I do think I'd agree the design's a little bit weaker, but overall I think his personality makes up for it. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's it, that sounds fair. Yeah. And then we have King Arthur from Sonic and the Black Knight, who is the antagonist of this game. He's turned evil, <clears throat> and Sonic of has pulled into the universe Hang on. to stop is King that, Arthur. Is that the plot of Sonic and the Black Knight? King yeah. Arthur's yeah. turned evil. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. And I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate this. You know what? I'll bring her in. So this is another character. I forget her name. Her name is uh, Melina, I believe is her name. So this is Melina. Oh, and Merlin, she, female form. Oh, right. So she pulls uh, Sonic into the universe to stop the evil King Arthur. Uh, let's let's judge these two side by side because they are very weird Sonic characters. I think it's just leave them where they are. They don't. It's yeah. it's, it's like this whole era of Sonic just doesn't belong. You know, like uh, shortly after this, we had the the unleashed uh, ab abomination that we'll soon talk about, and. Uh, and it's just, I imagine we will at least, and they just don't, they do, they just don't belong. I, I would almost banish oh, yeah. them, because it's, do you want to remember them? Like do, I want to banish um, Melina, I think. I think King Arthur, <laughs> he, he, I think you can justify him being in a Sonic game. She is just some human person. Most of the people in Banish are human people. To be fair, fair, the only reason Sonic and the Black Knight exists canonically is because of her. That's true. So, yeah, that's the there doubles down on being banished. <laughs> All right, King Boo, Boom Boo, who goes, Boom Boom, Boom Boom. Ah. 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 I would love to hear what, how do you, I feel like you're both very, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. What do we think about being King Boom Boo then? Uh, honestly. I think he's the most memorable boss fight from that game for yeah. me. <laughs> And I used to be scared of him as a kid. I'm like, oh, what? no, not this part. <laughs> Open the curtains. <laughs> what the? A ghost? That's his introduction. <laughs> they don't try and do anything with him, and they basically have ripped off the Sonic booze in the worst way possible. As a result, I think he's A tier. <laughs> Okay, I, I was going to say, talk me out of this, and I think you just did. So here we go. It is hard to put him above, like, Chaos and Knuckles and things like that, but... Uh, yeah. But And I think, I, w I was just going to say, I would love to see him come back in some shape or form, but I think there's a level in, like, Team Sonic Racing or something like that where he makes an appearance in the background, but oh, I, 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 wa right, I yeah. want a real I want a real boss fight again. I want him God, to join the team. He, he is a crap design, isn't he? Yeah, really works. bad. <laughs> it does. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do another it's very boom memorable. Character. We've got I... we've gone from King Boom Boom to King um, to Boom Knuckles. This guy plays football, definitely. <laughs> I really quite like. I honest. I honestly think like I know it's a meme that hey Knuckles got you know ripped. The thing is, is that he's supposed to be a powerhouse. He's supposed to be the strong one. Yeah. I genuinely think if you take context out. He's the most physically accurate representation of Knuckles. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah I mean, when, when I first saw these designs, I was like, did they just stretch Knuckles out? What, what, why is he so <laughs> tall and wide? But 
when you watch it in the show, I think it's the, it's the best characterization of modern Knuckles, and uh, yeah, it works. It, it definitely works. Yeah, I suppose yeah. you're right. And Otherwise, he is. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just going to say he's genuinely hilarious. He's a very typical sort of idiot character, but they they double down on it so much. Like they don't make any you know bones about it. They just say, "Yep, no, he's he's just an idiot. He's just an idiot." And yeah. as a result, it works really well. I think. I've got a. Anyone gonna tell me no? I don't think I can. Nope. Okay. I'm happy. Well, our next one is Lumina from Sonic Shuffle. She is the guidance oh, fairy. Oh God! Yeah, I looked. <laughs> I looked at that and I thought I've seen that somewhere, but I had no idea where from. I, yeah. So I, Lumina, um, at one point, Sonic cat calls her. He goes, "Who right. are you?" <laughs> and it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't feel great about that. Be beyond that, I I, I mean, always thought her design was really cool. It's it's like very, I mean, of course it was it was the designers that that did it, but it was very like two thousand Sonic style. Even even like had some yeah. Knights vibes, you know. And uh, it's it's yeah. sort of a, it's sort of an era I wish Sega would go back to. And uh, but I I, th I feel like she fits the role just fine. She doesn't really fit Sonic very well, but but I think she's a cool character. Maybe C. Yeah, I'm happy with C. Okay. As long as oh God, we're going to have to pick it up. All right, we've <laughs> gone for Gerald, <laughs> but now we have Maria, the love interest of Shadow oh, the that's Hedgehog. Right. Oh no 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 no! She's not the love interest. She's not. No. Well, she, I guess she. I guess she's not the love interest. Is she, that not Zero Suit I guess he's meant to protect her, but there, there's definitely a, a, a little spark going. It's on it's there. it's a familial bond. I really feel. All right. Oh. Well, what I'm, do you think I'm about so Maria? I'm sorry to ruin your head cannon, John. Uh, even oh, even I honestly even I thought that as a kid. So oops, I gotta get my I've head out of the of gutter. Art draw now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about Maria? Oh, she's rubbish. Stick her in D. She's terrible. <laughs> That's fair. She's not great. It would yeah. Like all right. Give well, them a chance from... to be happy. Let them live for their <laughs> dreams. It's so cliche, so cheesy, and pointless. Well, who can forget? Marnie the raccoon. Speaking of pointless, Adventure. it's Marine, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was Marnie. Maybe it is Marine. Okay. What game is this from? Uh, from Sonic Rush remember. Adventures. And she's oh, she's okay. playable. She's an overworld character who will sort of talk to you and just basically guide you through the game. She she, you do, she doesn't really do anything. She I'm does have like a cool design, but I don't. I, I I never played Rush Adventure, so I feel I feel bad if I if I you know boost her or hate on her really, but. Yeah, I mean, it is a cool design, but I just feel like she doesn't do much. Yeah, uh, I do like that her yeah, hair looks like boomerangs, but... It's Marine. Okay, Marine, right, not Marnie. <laughs> so, so... Marnie would make more sense. <laughs> yeah, but either way, I think D is... is... Yeah. M yeah. Um, Mephilus from oh, Sonic Sephiroth. 06. <laughs> so, I, I, didn't, I don't understand this character, because it, it's, it's just shadow, but, like, made of rock, kind of. Yeah, it's... I... It's pointless. It's like, oh, it's an even more evil. Where, where does Mephiles even come from? Oh, it's it's a complicated story, and I'm not oh, sure. Oh, okay, I really don't can. care. So, yeah. okay, <laughs> he does kill Sonic though at one point. He actually murders Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. He forces he forces the snog to happen. Banish him. So this right. this is Shadow the Hedgehog, or this is like a, no, an no, alternate I don't think, reality. I don't think it is Shadow. I think there's more to this, but I, I don't think this is the the place to discuss it. Okay. So he, he's back. Hey, Gate, I'm Chip. Oh Chip. God, banish him quickly, quickly I feel before like he Chip speaks. Needs to go away. Yeah, that was the easiest. It's just, banish. oh God, it's just like because I remember the cutscene so well. It's just yeah. like he just like bumps into Sonic and he's and he's like, oh, who are you? And he's like, oh no, I can't remember. And it's like, I'll go with you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's so. Bloody cliche and pointless. I do like Espio though. Yeah, Espio's alright. Zeon, you're I, the man think, for Espio. I think what Espio's alright. I, I, I feel like once again, it's just like the design has like faded over the years as well with Espio. Like Espio sure. was way cooler just being this kind of character that we only saw in like Chaotix and 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 other appearances here and there. But but I yeah, just I don't know. I feel like like appearances like in forces and stuff has has dulled the uh, 
the the appeal, but I don't know. Uh, probably like yeah, C yeah, or B. I, I agree. If you ask yeah. me when Heroes just launched, I'd say, yeah, he's B. But yeah, I, th I think they've definitely diminished SBO. Yeah. It physically reminds me of you. I look at him and he reminds me of you, Zeon, and I don't know why. Here, oh, hello? Oh, he reminds hello? you of... Oh, okay. Oh, I lost you for a second. What, what oh, is no. He, what does he physically remind you of? You, Zeon. Of me? Because <laughs> I... I don't it, know why. Is it that I have a big nose? And it, it looks no. like... No! <laughs> no, I think it's like... I, I really don't know. Don't he take it first. He looks angry. Us. Is it my metal face? Is that what it is? Maybe. Maybe it's because he's... I don't. I don't know, Zeon. I'm let's, sorry. Let's I'm sorry. Let's continue the flow. Well, thanks. Let's get back into the flow. We've got metal knuckles from Sonic R. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing either. They're like, we, we got metal Sonic. We've got that weird tails, doll. What are we gonna do for knuckles? And they just kind of made this guy. I think the thing I love about these rankings is that we just get caught off guard sometimes, or like we learn <laughs> something new. And this feels like one of those moments. Yeah, he's the weakest D, metal character. D, D or B, it's it's waste. It's oh, it's metal knuckles. Yeah. Oh no! Oh I don't think no! He's the worst. I wouldn't banish this guy. I'd say he's D. Okay, okay. Uh, that's we've fine. Got, we've got Mighty the Armadillo though. Who I, believe, I like it, Mighty. Was it Sega Sonic the Hedgehog that it you was. debuted in the arcade game? Yeah. Uh, no, that's um. Uh, that Wait, it was, was. It was two uh, characters, right? It was Chaotix. It? Um, he debuted in. But wasn't he? Oh, you're thinking of I, I Ray thinking was of Ray in then. Sega Sonic. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Is that the yellow one? Yeah. yeah. Well, because I think there, yeah, there's Ray's... there's three characters in Sega Sonic. Yeah, there are. There's Sonic, Ray. It, maybe it's Mighty. I'm gonna so double check because I'm pretty damn sure it's not. There is so some the kind internet. of red colored character though, for sure. Yeah, there's definitely three of them. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. No, Mighty's in it as well. It is! Okay, so cool. debuted in Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, went on to Knuckles Chaotix, and was also in Mania Plus. So what do you think of this guy? Honestly, I was I like just him. thinking about it. We can't even be blamed for, like, not 100% knowing that, because have any of us actually played Sega Sonic? Like, Sega, if you're watching this, release that game! Yeah, yeah please, please, it was... Please. It was... Was it good? I can't remember. <laughs> I, I don't no know! One knows. No one knows. <laughs> yeah, you have to but play I'm with saying, a trackball. I'm saying A. I think A's a good place for Mighty. He's got a good design. He looks yeah. like he fits within the Sonic universe, but he's got his own flair. And he yeah. genuinely plays really differently in Mania. Really like it. He, he does. Yeah, far different to the others. Like, he, he um, looks sort of like he could have had his own game in, like, the 90s era, you know, from some other yeah. company. But. Yeah. So we've we've rated the, the Gamma line. We have Omega, who is the follow-up to Gamma. He's the replacement oh, yeah. to Gamma. <laughs> and I feel like he has never filled those boots. No, he's those big mean. robotic boots. I'd honestly put him in D because he just reminds me of a better character constantly. What do you think, Zeon? I'm totally cool with that. I don't... Okay. Yeah, he, he just looks like a big jerk. He's just a pile... He's just a, a big robot, and I don't know. He lacks flavor. He's not fun. <laughs> Get him out of here. Like plain Whoa. popcorn, he lacks flavor. Absolutely. Everyone, Needs more salt. Everyone's accidentally hurt on Mochao, or on purpose. Um, and I think we've all heard... Their, their, their line saying, hey, don't do that. So what do you think about Omichao? I, I love really to hate like, him. Yeah, yeah. He fits. I, I, I love that you were able to, you know, pick him. Like like you guys were saying, we we can pick him up and throw him off a cliff if we want. And he'll come right yeah. back and let us do it again. You know, he, he knows his purpose. And he's still here to teach us. Yeah. So it, it's I, nice. They, they returned Omichao for generations. But they took away the ability to harm Omichao. And that, that really oh, deteriorated yeah. the design. But in Adventure 2... Omachow is pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the fact that, I mean, I don't like Omachow, but he fulfills a purpose, and the fact that you can attack him, yeah, I'd stick him in C. Chow for now. Okay. Right, Speaking this of Chow character... for now, I've got to close the door. The name of this character has slipped my mind, so let's just call him the Echidna Elder. Does anyone oh, know the yeah. name of this guy, the leader of the tribe? A uh, dad, uncle. Oh, it's Knuckles. Probably not uh, that. I mean, uh, what's her face? His dad. Um, yeah, he's yeah. pointless, to and he's power dead. hungry. So they, yeah, they want to uh, basically free chaos, right? Yeah, or I think that they just wanted to take power, and chaos emerged from the Master Emerald, or something That's like that. Right. Bad things. Bad. I things. just know he goes. Oh, it's a monster. Yeah. Uh, I think he is not the best uh, no. father figure and a bad D. influence for Takao. Yeah. Um, cool. Professor Prick Pickle from Sonic Unleashed. Oh, God, D as so, well. 
I don't remember <laughs> the Professor Pickle. They, they flew um, to another country to find Professor Pickle, and he was like, Oh, Tails, blah, blah, blah. And that's, that's it, really. And they were like friends? Like, Tails knew who he was? Yeah, Tails' oh, buddies. Boy. It, honest, yeah. Honestly, he, he, to me, he makes me think that Sega didn't realize that Sherlock Holmes was, um, like, pub, like uh, d uh, public domain. Pu Oh, you know, sure, and they sure. felt they had to adjust him <laughs> yeah, in order yeah. to be able to use the character. I mean, That's he's not true, yeah. a detective or anything, but just he ticks those boxes. He's a crap prof Professor Layton. That's what he is. He is. So in Sonic Rush, Sonic is the alternative of Blaze. They're from different dimensions. And this is Eggman Neger, who has also been in Sonic Rivals. And um, he's also in the Olympic Games. Somehow they can compete really? in the same... Really? Wow. Yeah. So they can compete in the same Olympics despite being from different dimensions. What do we think about? I mean, what do we think about this guy? He's just a white mustached big man. Just stick him in D and let's forget about. It. This feels like something that didn't need to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Unlike Ray the Flying Squirrel, though, I like I like Ray. Yeah, I quite he's a like Ray. Cutie. Yeah. I still have yeah. not played he's the ma Mania segments, but yeah, what, what do you guys think of him as like a playable it's character? A, it's a cool take on a flying character. You know, it's, it's not gliding, it's not flying, it's just kind of propelling, and I think that, that works really well. Yeah, swooping. Okay. Maybe B. I'd, I'd say B. Yeah, he's a good character. Yeah, I, I like him. Fine. All right. Rouge the Bat. Ah, the character terrible. that confused my childhood. I feel yeah. terrible saying it, but I, I, feel. I do love Rouge. And I, I don't know if it's because I'm supposed to or <laughs> what, but... Uh, <laughs> But I, I think I love the sass that she was always firing at Knuckles as well. Like that was yeah. that was just like it, it was a fun relationship. And uh, she yeah. she's very arrogant, almost borderline megalomanic. Yeah. Like yeah. all the world's jewels are mine to keep, or whatever the bloody hell she says. Yeah, that sounds pretty What's spot funny, on. With many of these characters, we're judging them on their adventure appearance. But Rouge has appeared a lot of times over the years. But much like all the other characters, she doesn't do anything. Yeah, mm, sure. Do you, you feel like she's uh, sort of, stick, she's I'm, sort of I'm happy lost. with C. She's got some detailed story behind her in the fact that she works for the FBI and stuff. I feel like that's I, that's one thing that we're, we're learning, by the way, is, I mean, is that adventure just, it really did so much for some, some the, the series did so much for some of these characters. I mean, some of them, like Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails were fine as is, but, um, but you know, the, their their future appearances, they've really, they really uh, screwed the pooch. Is that a term I can use? I don't know what that actually means. Probably. But, all right. I'm yeah, a... you can get away with that. I mean, right. just... So, we can't do a Sonic ranking list without Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. This is Shade. <laughs> oh, shade. shade the Rabbit the or something. I think it's an echidna. I think it's Shade the Echidna. Oh. What, really? She just looks yeah, like she's like got big... to... Is it she? I can't remember. Oh, spoilers, by the way, for this this iconic Bioware RPG. But I'm pretty sure they get revealed as an echidna, and there's like there's a to be continued at the end. Where's my where is my sequel, Bioware? Yeah, Bioware. Shade thought, the echidna. I thought you loved it. There's two that. maggots coming out of their head. It was the soundtrack that did it for you, wasn't it, John? Oh, oh man, I God. that thing stuck in my head all day long. I really enjoyed that game when I played it growing up, but maybe I had the volume off. I'm not really sure. <laughs> What did you think of Shade, though? What, what was your opinion? Uh, so I never finished the game, but I do remember, like, seeing Shade on the cover and be like, whoa, what is this crazy, like, new robot thing? You know, like, I, I don't know. I, I thought it, it did the job, but, uh, but yeah, I just didn't, I didn't learn enough about him. I, I would maybe say C, honestly, but, uh, but I'm, I'm really okay with anything. I think on this, I don't have attachment. I want to say D. <laughs> I have no opinions. I don't know what it is. All right. That's fair. You look at it. And what? What? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> yeah. But um, we have Shadow though. Who? Uh, I, wow. I don't know what do you guys think about Shadow? Is this the only Shadow that we've got? Yes. There are no more Shadows. Okay. Um, I know Shadows in Boom, but I didn't include Shadow Boom. A Boom Shadow, you mean? Yeah. I I put him in B. I quite like Shadow. I think a lot of people massively overrate him. I think a lot of people massively hate him. Um, which, yeah. fair enough, you know, you know, Owl the Edge is a real thing. But at the end of the day, he's he's fine. It's certainly, when again, a Adventure 2, he's, he's a good antithesis. When I was a kid, I was so into his lore and backstory. I thought it was so intelligently <laughs> written. Yeah, me, me too. 
But it, it does. Do you, do you <laughs> feel that it was? Life. Do you feel that it was one of those things too that like he's just been overused now almost? Yeah. 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 He has no purpose anymore. He's, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? And it's sort of like there could be there could be some good stuff in there. Is he good? Is he evil? But it's just kind of like oh, it doesn't really matter. Well, he he's confused, yeah. right? So I mean, he one one minute he could be a good guy, and the next he could be a bad guy. He doesn't know. You it know, all depends which ending is. you get in Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but enough about well, we might talk about that another day. But enough about that for now. We have uh, Shirara or Shirara. I can't pronounce her name from Sonic and the Secret Rings. She is the guidance character and the one you have to sort of save. And I remember at the end, um, she cries and Sonic goes, Here's a handkerchief to wipe up your tears. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you don't want to give her a big smooch weird. instead? <laughs> oh, I don't put like her. Put, it, put her in D. All right. Oh, I, no. You're going to have to zoom I've out, to, aren't I've you, John? Zoom, yeah. What do you think about this guy? I remember seeing like some uh, one of my friends like made it to this level back in the day because I I wasn't good enough to actually get there. No save no save points, no save states, not happening. And I think I knew of Metal Sonic before this guy, and so it it really I don't know it really was like it was kind of like hearing about this character on the playground, right, and being like, oh, there's like there Metal Sonics in in Sonic Two, and I I really like his design a lot. I mean, he's not as cool as metal sonic i don't think but but i like no. him yeah he's like a like the prototype almost right yeah, he's, like, he's the precursor yeah yeah and he's bigger we... and bulkier i i think he's a c or a b personally i'd say c but zeon you you split the decision i think c's fine yeah I, I think that's just that's fair okay well silver the telekinesis hedgehog from the future who has come back to prevent the past wait no is, am i going the wrong <laughs> way prevent the past <laughs> the past won't happen. <laughs> um, oh. And some. Why, what bugs me though is this guy's from the future, right? But now he's just in the canon. Now he's just hanging around present day. Oh, you're what, right, John. If, you? if, if you're trying to make sense of this character, it's no use. <laughs> and uh, straight after Sonic 06, he was in Rivals. And you can. like, What are you? Who are you? Put him in D. He's a pointless character. <laughs> he's hurting my feelings. Zeon, what do you um, think of Silver? He does sort of feel like the the era of like we're getting too many hedgehogs. Like I, I get I get Sonic is the main character and the game is about hedgehogs, but I yeah he just I don't I don't really it's, like it's him. It's Sonic the Hedgehog, not Sonic and the Hedgehogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good point. But we do have another hedgehog because we have Boom Sonic. I think he's an A. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool, dude. He's got some sports tape. He's got... Uh, they shouldn't have changed the color of his arms, obviously. No, but... I can't while, believe... I can't accepted. believe they actually referenced that in mm -hmm. the animation. It is so meta. Yeah. Do they really? Wow. Yeah. yeah honestly, really you should watch, watch it. Zeon. It's really good. I, yeah. Well, let's get Boom out of the way. Let's, uh, let's go on to Boom Tales, who is... And they've doubled down on the mechanic angle, but I think it works best than it does in the games. I do agree. I kind of like the goggles and and the that's a wrench that he's holding there, right? Yeah, I hope yeah, so. Like that's it's 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 getting smaller to see, so I'm like I'm not sure, but yeah, I I, I enjoy his design more at least, and I you know like I said, I need to go watch the show so I can really judge better. I'll say B. Yeah, I'd I'd stick him in B. All right. Well, the final Boom character is an original Boom character, Sticks. Yes, yeah, oh, also yeah, the weakest. The one, she has boomerangs, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Styx's gimmick is that she is kooky. She's like a kooky gal. Off the walls. She never, has her moments. Know. But mm. those moments don't happen often. A lot of the time it's just madcap random humor. And it doesn't yeah. really work for me. I don't know if she is Black Doom, Maria, or Metal Knuckles level. Maybe C. Yeah, I could, I could, I could accept C. All right. Zeon Jet. Oh, what was that? Ooh. I said Zeon. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, C's C's fine with me. All right. We've had Jet, who was the Babylon Rogues leader, but then we have Storm, who is the 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 meat and muscle of the gang. It's Knuckles the bird. Yeah, I don't like Storm. I think he's the weakest Babylon Rogue. I think one thing for me with Sonic games is sometimes I'll see a character and be like, I want to learn more about them, or I want, I want, you know, I want to play as this character, and 
nothing from this series made me <laughs> leap with joy, run out to you know trade in some games to get this ser any of these games. So yeah, I don't I don't like him. You mean you didn't get the Connect one as well? I actually have thought about it just so that way I can have another Connect game to play. <laughs> but I don't think I no I don't think I I don't think I would want to submit any of my friends to that, let alone myself. D, D, right. D for me. Yeah, I think he's staying in D. Uh, Tails Dull, though. They're at Metal Sonic, <laughs> Metal Knuckles, Tails Dull. And it's literally a floating doll. I actually weirdly like the Tails Doll. I think it was... It genuinely... I know it's a, it's a massive meme, but it genuinely really freaked me out when I played Sonic R on the PC back in yeah. the past. Yeah, it terrified me. I've yeah. only seen the memes and stuff about it. Well, I, I did. That that was how I learned about it, and I thought it was fake. And then I think to learn it was real was just a, a completely different. <laughs> I was so surprised. Oh no, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think maybe A for Tails doll. Oh, I think that's maybe being a bit generous. At the end of the day, okay. it's only had one appearance. I uh, personally, I'd say B, but I, I I'd be I'd be comfortable with an A if Zeon feels strongly. I do. I I think it is a side of of like Sega that it would be nice to see weird stuff like this happen more often. I mean, I know like in Monkey Ball we're getting like Jet Grind Radio or Jet Set Radio characters and, and things like that, but but just weird little stuff like this doesn't seem to happen as often and I, it's it's cool. I, I I like its design. It's just so stupid, but uh -huh. it works. I think B's B's okay though. Sure. Not not, right. not to slow things down any quick, but just I've just noticed that Sonic Boom Sonic and Mighty the Armadillo are basically mirrored. They, they're very they similar poses. Wow. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, anyway, man. let's crack on. It. Yeah, yeah. So we've only got a few more characters left until we go into over, um, into quick fire mode. So here is Takal, who is um, the, the guidance character of Sonic Adventure. I quite like Takal. Makes too. me think of the thick of it. Um, <laughs> uh, that's going to yeah. like that's gonna make three people chuckle lightly. Um, yeah. Takal's fine. I'd say B or C. I, I want Takal to come back in some way. I, I think yeah. it's, it's quite a strong design. Um, we don't really get to see much of her, but one of, it, one of the better characters from Adventure. It was really cool to play as her in the Sonic Adventure 2 multiplayer. Yeah. Can you fly around as her during like the Emerald like hunting missions? Is that what that was? Or in, in yeah, the multiplayer? Yeah, yeah. In the cool. multiplayer. <clears throat> yeah, I, I really enjoy her design too, and I think her story is like is well said. You know, she comes back. But but yeah, it, it would it would have been cool to like see her playable in in adventure instead. But yeah, yeah. they didn't give her any new voice lines. It's all recycled. <laughs> God. But um, we've had cream. We've had cheese. What about cream's mum, Vanilla? <laughs> oh, God. Because why I not? Think why she was in Sonic Chronicles. I know she's in the comics. I'm, she was definitely in a game though. And I'm pretty sure it's Sonic Chronicles. I think she's mentioned in Sonic Event uh, Sonic Advance too. I think that's right. I, I she, just, might be, she, she might be in the ending as well. I think maybe after credits, yeah. she got like a little splash screen. This is kind of strange because we don't often like. Is this the first appearance of a character, like parent, parental figure? You know, in in, in, in the, the games. games yeah. yeah. Oh my so, god, John! Yeah. Are, are we both thinking of Sonic Underground? <laughs> of course we are. The parents must be found. <laughs> <laughs> no, she made a vow. Sonic no, Underground. They made a vow. Her mother must be found. Oh, Sonic yeah, Underground. Yeah. yeah. Classic. But vanilla. It's, it's a rubbish series. In my well, it's, opinion, it's okay. vanilla is a little bit vanilla. Yeah, she, she's just a generic MILF. <laughs> okay, on that note, D. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> you put the MILF character D. <laughs> Let's go on to Vex of the Crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I think Vector has a great attitude, and I, I love his work ethic, and he, has to, he loves finding the computer room. He, he his voice cool really dude. grates, though. You're right. He does. You're right. He is this kind of, like, edgy, like, crazy character. Like, he would have... He does. He, he feels like he deserves to be, like, riding around on rollerblades all the time and, and spray-painting <laughs> graffiti all around the town. Wait, am I... That's... Oh, yeah, that <laughs> is, is it, just Jet Set Radio. He's a Jet Set Radio character, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, before, before uh, Jet Set. I've placed him in C. I don't, I don't think he's D, and I don't, I don't think he's B either. I think C kind of fits him nicely. Yeah, it's C for Crocodile. Yeah. He might be an alligator, I'm not sure. Well, we've had the the Guidance Fairy from Sonic Shuffle, but now it's time for the Antagonist Oh, the evil fairy. one. Oh, right, I was going right. to say, John, what the hell is this? 
This is Void. He's a bad fairy. You've got to stop him by playing board games. I don't think Void is better than the other one, but what what no, do you right. what do you think? Yeah, what I think you... D. Yeah, I think it's I, uh, cuz I guess the more I think about it, it really is sort of like it do, they they both look like they belong in a Knights game, but this is not they Knights. Do. This is Sega or this is wow, this is Sonic. <laughs> uh Yeah, I think D's fine. Okay. Um, well, we've had Jet, we've had Storm. Now it's time for Wave, the final Babylon Rogue. Wave. And I can't she's stronger than Storm, but not. I don't know. If, I don't really know where I put her actually. I can. Sorry, John. Can I just ask? Have you been? I've seen you occasionally changing window. Are you looking up the names of some of these characters? Uh, I had to check. Not this one. I, I know. I know Wave. I had to Ooh, check right. the Sonic yeah, and John Secret knows, Rings ones, though. Of course, John oh, knows okay. Wave. <laughs> Um, I put her on par with Jet. She's just a female version of him. Yeah, pretty that's, much. That's pretty, like, yeah, she just has her, like, eyes slightly closed. It almost looks like, or she just has a smaller, I don't know, smaller eyes. It looks, ah, it's just... Well, it it's, just it's the Sonic little... default. It's the Sonic default. Men are angry, women are sultry. <sighs> yeah, that, that's it. That's, that's just how life is. Yeah. Uh, we have two more characters, and then we have just a, a very quick, quick fire round. So this is the Werehog, who is again, it's another Sonic, sure, but he he likes to be a bit more like, oh, he's a bit more like croaky. Banish him. Has stretchy have arms. you played those levels? I hate them. Banish him then. He's the reason they exist. I think. Yeah. Do I you think have, the, do you have... the only thing that needs to really be said is how much better would Sonic Unleashed be without him? And if yeah, yep, there I you feel go. Like we are upsetting a, a part of the fan base because uh, Werehog Sonic does have fans, and um, <laughs> I, I just I just don't like him. I'm sorry, I don't like him. The thing is, you can just because we don't like something doesn't mean other people can't. That's you know that always we're not well actually no we are saying it's a crap character, but that doesn't mean that that should impede your enjoyment. That's true. Indeed. Yeah, that, that that's a good point. Yeah, just because we think he sucks doesn't mean that that you have to think he sucks as well. You can put him in S if you want to. Yeah. But um, when we talked about putting this list together, I originally said I'd get all the Wisps in there, but then I had too many characters. So I've, I've just got Yakka. <laughs> so this blue one is called Yakka. He's an actual character in Sonic Colors. He's not just a Wisp. And he, he's, he I keep saying the guidance character, but he is. He's the one that sort of guides Sonic and Tails mm -hmm. around. Um, and he's also the... Uh, I want to say he's the... Which Wisp is he? He's not, it's not the Speed Wisp. Um, uh, I, I white. He's the... The light was yeah, uh, that's, that's it. Yeah, they just they just give you boost power. Yeah, so you he's got just kind boost of the power. Boost wisp. Yeah. So y Yaka as a character, he just he talks. His his speech gets translated into Tails machine. So, what do we think of Yaka? I'm not a really he's big fine. fan of the wisps, but um, but I haven't played too much of Colors either. So, so I'll leave it. I'll leave it to you guys. What do you think? You think in I, D? Um, I, I, I don't I like blame the wisps. you. I like the Wisps in colors. I think they work quite well within the whole universe. I don't love that they've come back, though. Mm. I, I think they're, they're a bit weird in Forces. Um, yeah. I, I don't even really know why they're there. Forces really I is would... like the end game, isn't it? Where they just they just put everything there, because why not? It's like a comic yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would put Yakka at C, because as just as much as anything to represent the Wisps, but by himself, he's not great. He's not a strong character, because... We don't get a great sense of his personality because he only speaks through tales indirectly. I would uh -huh. say, yeah. But I really like the Wisps overall. I think they were a really good inclusion, but they have kind of milked them in a bad, like, just just made them rubbish now. Well, not rubbish, yeah. but poor. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. I know what you're saying, exactly. Um, we have seven characters left, and uh, first off, though, is the Deadly Six. And um, <laughs> Oh, crap. Oh, okay, so Zavok. Zavok, Sega think he's a big deal. So Zavok's the, he's a major thing in the comics, apparently. He also was a boss in Sonic Forces, while Chaos was not. Um, he, he's playable in Team Sonic Racing. Why are you trying to make Zavok a thing? I don't like him. I would be tempted to banish him just... Uh, hang on, sorry, I think Cobweb wants to go outside. <laughs> That's I Cobweb's way of saying, banish him. Banish just him. take him outside. I don't like him. I haven't played because he his, their first appearance was lost world right 
Yeah, yeah, it was Lost World. And they were, the, the whole point of Lost World was they, they were the deadly six. That was kind of their thing. But then they just kept bringing them back, and I don't, I don't know why. They do feel a bit like, now that I'm thinking about it, the the Koopa Kids, or Koopalings, from Super Mario Bros. 3. They yeah, all I think like, that's what they wanted them to right, be. Right, but they're just not fun. I just don't... I, it, they don't make any sense. Like, what What are they... The cats what? are contained. <laughs> All right. Good, good job. I think we're just confused by what Zavok is, what he wants to be, and we don't like him. So I think we yeah. banished him. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I mean, the fact that they keep trying to make him a thing, banish him, then they can't. Hooray. Them's yeah. the rules. I don't just, I, make, I don't make him, I just enforce them. Then we've got Zaz, who is the extreme one. Um, I don't like him either. I don't no. know if he's the worst, though. D. Yeah. Um, Xena? She, uh, I don't think she's the worst one either. She's still D, though, isn't she? Come on. <laughs> Do we think they're all D? Is there any of these deadly six I that are I don't like D, how I shiny her hair is, or even just, like, <laughs> that she has that much. And where is because that side part coming from? Because she uses head and shoulders. <laughs> like, she well, has um, a side part, like, like, below the point of her, of part of her head. Like, it, it just doesn't, at least from what I'm seeing here, it doesn't makes i don't like her i just don't like her okay you just well, want hair that this... glossy i'm gonna do something in a moment so we've got this is zik this is zomom and this is i forgot is it zor i yeah, don't know I, I that one is the least recognized oh it's just the depressed one isn't it wow yeah. now i understand so, uh, why I... they pick zavok as the as like the one to lead the pack because th this is rough yes <laughs> <laughs> I put them all in D here, but do you des do any of them deserve to break free from D or even be banished? I like the idea that Zavik is like the one that orchestrated this entire group, and for that he should be banished, and everything else is like <laughs> it's not their fault. They were just living their strange little lives, and they got pulled into this ragtag group of mutant alien. Th I don't know what they are. Are they planets themselves? Like they, they look like it looks like things could be living on them. I, I don't like them. <laughs> I mean, there's probably All some right. sort of mites or something. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. So I intended to end on the deadly six, but zero, the robot that chases you in adventure, he stuck around. Um, so what do you think about this guy? I, I was really Whoa. scared of him as a kid. Yeah. In Amy's levels, he chases you around. He's like Nemesis from Resident Evil. I, and there's I, no I way was, to defeat him until the end. I wasn't scared of him until that point where you've got like a load of mirrors and he's just like, oh, he yeah. seems to be everywhere. And sure. then he just bursts through. And that is gen that was genuinely startling to a child. Well, I yeah. th Apart I from that, a uh, I don't rate him. I think the game does a really good effective. job. Yeah, I think the game does a really good job of, you know, like you see him in Sonic's mode and then you like you see him picking up Amy and he's kind of like, he's just this weird, he, I, somehow he actually is scary. But uh, but yeah, and then, you know, the, the, the theme song that plays too when he pops up is like, meow, 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 meow. Yeah. And yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's menacing and... Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like t I, I think I told you guys back in the day that, and sorry, I'm not, I won't go on too long about this, but like the Tails levels used to like, like intimidate me because I, I never wanted to lose to Sonic. Well, this was just like even, this was above that as well. So I'm, yeah, I, I he, he was horrifying. I don't know why. Well, I've placed him in B because I think he is quite effective as a villain and makes Amy's levels a bit less dull. I mean, like her, her playset is definitely the slow like it's it's the slowest of the platforming characters and it just isn't that interesting but when you're being chased by zero and then when you finally defeat him at the end it kind of gives you this this rush of power i think mm. so I, I do quite like him i think b is a fairly reasonable place for such a guy yeah yeah actually you, you've you've convinced me you've turned me around on him yeah All right, I, I, well i like that look at this look what we've done is it done this is it we've finished wow these are the official best Sonic characters. All, all of them, even the banished ones. <laughs> I'm going to send this to... What do you to, think of this, though? I, I'm going to send this to my uh, the, the one of the Sega PR contacts that we have and say, look <laughs> at this. Zach, look at this. I've, I've, got, a, uh, I've got a friend at Sega. I'm going to send it to him as well. Yeah, do it. Do it. I, I, I'm pretty pleased with this. So looking back at... Just looking back at our adventure, I feel like we've made the right choices. Some characters are definitely lesser than others, and I'm happy with the ones that we banished. Can 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 we just make one adjustment? Just one. <gasps> what is it, Alex? What do you have? Can we banish Black Doom? He feels like <laughs> he's far too poor to be in D. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he's a I would bad say influence. It, uh, he's worse than silver. Let me put it that way. Okay. Yeah, you saw me on that. Shadow, he had his he had his time to redeem himself. And then Black Doom comes along and says, Hey, Shadow, why don't you kill some people? It would be <laughs> yeah. cool, dude. And You're here's a space a hedgehog. <laughs> Oh well! Ah, whoa! I feel like that's I have some. Thing. I feel like I have some learning to go do now. Like I have some games that I need to go, go replay or even like unleashed. I wanna, I wanna finish that game, and this is kind of this has sparked some <laughs> some interest for me. I, not not because. That's very funny. Sorry, go oh, I, I was just go. gonna say not because I now know what the final boss is, but just because I I. It, you know, like you said, people actually like uh, the Werehog, and I don't, but I, I'm i okay to, like, try to learn why people do. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad we did this. I find it very funny that Chocolate Chow is is higher than the president. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the president would just but, do um, his job, and we'd like yeah, him yeah, more. Yeah, just do his job, man. God. Chocolate Chow for president. But if you want to rank your own, if you disagree with this, want to rank your own Sonic characters, there is a link to this tier list in the description below. And you can share that with us on the Twitters or any other form of contact. You can send a, a, a letter via Falcon if that's your thing. Um, but if you enjoyed this, let us know in the comments below and we'll do even more rankings in the future if you all like these. And uh, Zeon, what is your trademark sign off? Well, hey there, guys. Don't forget that one chili dog a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> At least that's what my uncle always told me. <laughs> With that said, hit that subscribe button and we'll rank you. All of you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Whoa!